Hey everybody, what's up? I hope you're having an awesome day. Welcome back to another Disney Cars video. Today, we have something very special to review. The Cozy Cone Alarm Special Collector Edition exclusive to the D23 convention last week. So guys, I am super excited for this. I have been waiting for this alarm clock for years, ever since they teased it in 2009 and 2010. So after about seven to eight years, we finally have it. A little more limited than I'm sure a lot of people will have preferred because being a D23 exclusive, only 1,000 were produced, I believe. I may be a little off with that number, but I'm pretty sure it's only 1,000 because the previous D23 exclusives were limited to 1,000 as well. And those were the Convoy Brothers, Albert Hinky, and I believe there was one more before that for the Disney Cars line as well. Now this year, we're getting double dose is actually triple doses because in previous years when there was a D23 exclusive there wouldn't be a San Diego Comic-Con one and as you guys probably know D23 takes place every other year while SDCC takes place every year but this year probably because of Cars 3 we're getting a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive which that convention is taking place this weekend in addition to the Cozy Cone alarm clock and something from Jada, not Mattel, the metallic gold Cruz Ramirez 124 scale. This thing is awesome and I will do a video on it in the near future, but I definitely prefer the alarm clock so I had to do that first. Plus it's Mattel and I just did a video on the Jada Danica Cruz anyways, but this is pretty different so it definitely warrants its own video. But anyway, thank you so much, so much Give Me Collectibles for helping me out with these exclusives. He helped me out with everything you see here, both of the alarm clocks and the Cruz Ramirez. They retailed for $50 at the convention. Now you won't see that price on eBay or anywhere for that matter because people gotta make their money. First of all, unless they live in Anaheim, they have to fly there, which flying costs money. And then of course, since you're not in your own house or whatever, you have to rent somewhere, stay at a hotel, that costs money. Then you have to, of course, buy transportation to get there on top of the cost it actually is to get into D23 and then the $50 for that. So don't think you'll get this for $50. I'm sorry to say guys, $100 is an awesome deal. I don't even know if there are any more on eBay for that price. I know I checked originally like when it just came out just to see the prices and they were floating around like 100 to 120, but now the prices have probably even shot up to around 150. So if you really do want this item, I recommend getting it as soon as possible, and I definitely recommend getting it from Get Me Collectibles. He really is the best seller with anything cars related, and he does have a bunch of cozy cones in stock, and he has a few Dinoco Cruz Ramirez's from Jada. So if you want her as well, you should contact him very, very soon because they are limited to, I believe, 750 versus the Cozy Cone being limited to 1,000. So a 250 difference, and therefore, she is a lot rarer. But anyway, let's talk about the package here. So I really do like this retro-looking box. I like the Cozy Cone alarm there, the font and everything, special collector edition with the exclamation point. I like that. Gotta have the excitement. We have the older Cars logo that's kind of just like flat on there. It's not 3D, so I like the retro look again. We have some clouds in the sky here. On the bottom, a very, very nice classic look of the cozy cone there. You can see a couple cones and then the lobby there in the center. And on the side, it continues. So it's kind of like a panorama that's placed on all four sides of the box here. So we have one, two, three, four cones. On the back, the description reads, after moving to Radiator Springs, Sally bought the cozy cone motel, which she loved lovingly restored to its former glory. Everything there is cone themed, from the fountain out front to the welcome mat in the lobby. The office displays her caution cone collectibles and several large cones also serve as the motel rooms. I believe there are nine in total. It does say adult collector right there. Includes three AG13, aka LR44 button cell batteries for the vehicle and four AA carbon zinc batteries for the playset. Dispose of batteries safely. This product contains a magnet 
Do not use around items that are sensitive to or affected by magnetic fields. So that is very, very important, guys. It actually is important, but I know a lot of people would just kind of blow that off, which, you know, it's probably not really a huge deal. On this side, I like the sign there. So it says Cozy Cone Motel. No vacancy, 100% refrigerated air. I really, really do like that there. On the bottom here, we have everyone's favorite, the legal and copyright information, of course, right there. Copyright 2016. So they had this in mind all the way back last year and then the barcode along with some other information here as well. So it contains one playset and one vehicle. The vehicle is that like blue alarm thing inside which we'll be taking a look at right now that was introduced in the Meet the Cars book back in like 2009. So I'll actually see when this was copyrighted so I can get you guys an exact date. Come on, where is the copyright information? It's like when you actually do one, actually there it is, copyright 2008. So yeah, probably released in 2009. Up here we have the alarm clock. So that is the die cast vehicle inside. It does come out of the actual clock, the comb. And it says there, when Sally Reed did her motel, she wanted every guest who stayed there to wake up with a smile. This original novelty clock car from the 1960s really does the trick. Now, as much as I was excited for the alarm clock and how, you know, I cannot wait to get out of the package, I have to disagree with that. I never, ever wake up with a smile to any alarm. I don't care how awesome it is or how, I don't know, it relates to your hobby like mine here with the cars, but no alarm clock will make me happy. I wake up with a frown on my face every morning, and that is why this is not going to be my alarm clock. It is going on display. The other one is going in a box somewhere, and I'll deal with that later on in the future. But if I make this my actual alarm clock, then I will hate this thing in a matter of like two to three days. It'll be like, oh my God, that thing. Oh my God, I can't stand it anymore. So that's why I just use my phone, and I have one of my, well, one of my favorite songs that now isn't really my favorite song anymore because it always wakes me up every morning, like five in the morning, especially on the weekends because I have to go to work and be there at 6.15. But anyways, on the top actually, I forgot the top, we kind of have like an orange print of that blue car, the sleeping, happy sleeping right there. Very, very nice and like some cones in the background here. So I think I'll be opening this one up because the package is more damaged. I think so. We got a little scuff up there and on the bottom there was a huge crease. Oh, I guess, yeah, I was right there. I was like, where did it go? And this one it looks to be a lot better. A little bit perfect, actually. I think this one's perfect. Yeah, that one is staying in the package for sure. So I think that is all for just kind of the introduction stuff about the box here. And I just wanted to show you guys that one thing from the Meet the Cars book. So let's crack this thing open. Let's see if I could just use my T and, you know, cut the tape right here. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to actually cut it because I want to make sure this box stays in the best condition as possible, even though I'm opening it up. I always am very, very careful with my exclusives. And I recommend you guys do the same because you may want the box in the future and may be worth something. And you may even be able to sell the box without the actual alarm clock. People will want that stuff, all right? So far a success. I think we can just open it up from this side here and not remove any more tape. Or do we have to remove tape because it's not coming out that easy. All right, all right, we got it open, guys. We're gonna put it here on the side so you guys can see. We'll take a look at this later on. Product is not a working alarm clock. Darn, I actually thought it was. I legitimately, all right, that did not sound good. We got a little triangle box right here. This is pretty sweet. I like this. Let's just take a look at this for now. Cozy cone alarm. I like the yellow. It looks like bananas to me, really. Disney cars, Disney Pixar cars. So this was on top of the clock in there, kind of keeping it in place, although I thought it would like come out with the clock when I pulled it out, but apparently not. We got this thing. I think this was saying on top of the cozy cone alarm clock, just like so. And here is the beauty. Wow, this thing looks so cool. Like, if I didn't know about this, i think, what? How does it even relate to cars? Like, if I had no idea, this just looks like an antique, really. 
like something you'd find at an antique store. But that's how the plastic thing was, by the way. We'll put this over here. That'll look kind of cool. Yeah, that looks pretty cool right there. All right, so here it is, guys, looking very, very awesome. We got the clock up here. We have kind of like the AM radio, so you can like change the station and whatnot. Now, it does come in this cardboard base, which you have to flip off. Apparently, I heard some stuff about this, but I'm not entirely sure how this comes off here. Should I read the instruction, guys? The instruction manual before I actually start tearing in? Yeah, oh, never mind. This will direct me to exactly what we need to do here. All right, so you just move that thing out. Well, bam. And let's do the other one here. Oh, this one's a little tired. Well, bam, look at that. I like it. Those are out now. And then it looks like we just slide this thing right on off. Perfect. We're just going to set this to the side now. So this is the little base that comes in. Actually, very, very nice. Nice, strong cardboard. We'll just put these in there for now. I'll set this off to the side. Don't throw any of that stuff away, guys. Keep it all in the box. Trust me, you will thank me in the future. All right, so here it is, a very, very simple setup. Here is the base. Again, we have more legal information and like, I don't know, it has that same like garbage can logo that was on the bottom of the box where it said like no PB or something. I have no idea what that means. And it's put together with screws, so I don't recommend taking it apart. It's meant to be that way. Here we have the switches to turn on and off with another switch, which I'm sure it'll tell us what that exactly is in the instruction manual. Oh, peekaboo, hello. You look very, very awesome. That is what I've been waiting for for years. So we have the speaker back here. That is where you exchange the batteries. This looks like an AC adapter port. Something along those lines so you can keep it going like perpetually, continuously. So let's actually read the instructions now. I guess we should. Calm down, RC Cars 5. Calm down. We'll get to it. Cozy cone alarm instructions. I like how it continues with the font. And it's actually colored because a lot of the instruction manuals nowadays are just black and white. All right. So same stuff that we already read. Battery replacement. Batteries includes are for demonstration purposes only. Well, that's a bummer. We'll see how far we get with these demonstration purpose only batteries. And if they poop out on us, I'll just go and get some new ones and replace them. Replace batteries if motion slows, sounds distorts, or lights dim. Unscrew the battery cover. If I read all this, it'll get really boring. So you can pause and read. I'm just going to skim through. If place that malfunctions, turn power off for a few seconds and on again. This should reset your playset and let you resume normal operation. All right, so we'll just see how far the included batteries get us. I'm kind of disappointed that they aren't like legit batteries and they're just like demonstration only. Anyway, set up. Slight or slide power switch to either normal mode or a light sensor mode. So that's what the other one was. I think we'll just go to normal mode because light sensor is probably like when it gets dark or something, it'll go on automatically. Press and hold the button for more than two seconds to move car out of tray. It's pretty simple. Unlock and remove the vehicle. Pull the key lock out and dispose of it before play. Unlock and remove the vehicle. Pull. Okay. Repeat step two and attach the vehicle back to the tray. Press again to move the tray back in. So let's actually do this right now. Press and hold the button for more than two seconds to move car out of tray. All right, let's do it. Um, okay, maybe we'll just go like that. Um, hello? All right, it must be the batteries, guys. I'll have to go grab some new ones. Be right back. All right, so I got new AA batteries in there. Here are the ones that popped out. These are beautiful metallic green batteries. I'll probably be keeping these. I know it says dispose of the battery safely, but come on guys, what could really go wrong? Just keep them in a safe place and just say, these were the ones that were included with the alarm clock. I mean, someone may want them down the road. All right, let's try if the button works now. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Press and hold the button for more than two seconds to move the car tray out. One, two, three, four, five. All right. 
Oh, what to do now? I'm sorry for really stalling this review and it's taking forever, but I really don't know what's going on now. You know what, RC cars? Maybe you should turn it on. Oh, silly me. Silly me. There it goes. Whoa, that is awesome. Oh my god. He's stuck in there though. I can't exactly pull him out. Alright, so let's see what it says now. Unlock and remove the vehicle. Pull the key lock out and dispose of it before play. Um, let's see here. I guess we have to flip this thing up. Yeah, there's this little key lock thing here. So we... Okay, okay, I gotcha. Pull that out. And he's still not budging. He's still not budging. Is there another one in there? I don't know. Hello? Oh, you gotta be... Oh my gosh, you gotta be joking me. Oh my god, look at that big chip right there. Dude, look at that. That is absolute disappointment right there. What the? Oh my gosh. That thing just shot back in there. Come back out. We, we need you. All right. I can't pull you out though. Ah, what, what's going on here? It said, pull the key lock out and dispose of it before play. I'm not going to dispose of it. I just want to pull the car out now. But it's not really letting me. All right, so that button up, that button up there makes it go like beep, 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 beep. But now shouldn't it pop out? Shouldn't it pop out, right? No? Wow, it's chipped on the other fender too. That is disappointing right there. Guys, I am really genuinely confused right now. I mean, I know I was being really silly when I didn't even turn it on, but this is, this is insane right here. How do I get this thing off? And it shoots back in again. All right, all right. Just a little confused right now. Uh, repeat step two and attach vehicle back to the tray. I couldn't even pull it out. Unlock or remove the vehicle. Pull the key lock out and dispose of it before play. Isn't that exactly what I did? Here's the key lock. Oh boy. All right, come on. Come on. It's not budging. If I pull it any harder, it's gonna break or something. Um, push, pull, push, pull. Hello, can you come out for me today? Would you please do that for me? No, 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 all right, no. This is honestly really disappointing, guys. First of all, it's chipped, which is terrible. Second, it's not doing what it's supposed to do. Hello, hello in there. Hello. It's gonna shoot back in there in a second. I know it. I just am very, very confused right now, guys. Um, yep, there it goes. Well, I'm going to cut and I'll get back to you guys when I figure something out. All right, so after further examination, the little clock card here is actually like on this thing right here. So you really just have to grab onto it and pull straight out. So I guess I just wasn't doing it hard enough. But here it is. Now, the reason why they want you to pull this out is because I think they want you to replace the batteries, which are the little cell batteries, like that you put in hearing aids and other toys, stuff like this, like those ones right there. I don't have any of those, so we're just going to use the demonstration batteries. And while I have this guy out, we're going to review him. So he looks very accurate to the movie. Of course, if you guys don't know where this appeared and you're just so confused right now, like, what are you even talking about, RC Cars 5? Well, it's when McQueen was invited to stay in the cozy cone by Sally, and when he woke up, he woke up to this, and he didn't wake up with a smile on his face either. He was in the cone, and it was just popping out, like telling him to get up, dude, get up. Of course, I put pictures on the screen to refresh your guys' memory. This button up here causes him to make several beeping noises, or just one, actually. I thought I would do more. And then that's where you exchange the batteries. But like I said, I don't have any of those. The sound comes out here. These two notches are to attach onto the thing in there. Some lights here on the back. It's very simple, basic. It does roll though, which is very nice. It seems like it has like a rubbery plastic tire grip, which is very, very cool. Yeah, a very smooth roll. So check this out guys. Very smooth, definitely rubber tires for sure there. And very, very nice. The only problem is that it's chipped, which really, really ticked me off there because it should definitely not be chipped. I mean, this is a $50 item. Where has it been that would have gotten chipped? Nowhere. 
All right, so we're just going to move on, guys. Move on and put them back in there. Come on back out. Oh, I like that. I like that beeping sound. I actually really do like that. Hopefully it doesn't get annoying or anything. So it goes on just pretty simple. You just align it, wait until you hear the click. And since I didn't show you guys how it comes off, just really latch onto it like this. And then it clicks on off like that. On and off very, very nicely actually after you find out how to do it. So now it talks about features. Light sensor is here on the top. AC slash DC power adapter socket. Press and release for lights and sounds. We already did that. So press and hold to keep lights on longer and repeat sounds three times. So that's what I was thinking of before. Nice, I like that. Batteries normal mode. Just slide power switch to normal mode. Press function button. Start the music, lights, and vehicle moving in and out. Light sensor mode, slide power switch to light sensor mode. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. If the room is dark enough, it will do it automatically. But I don't really care for that because I don't want doing something when I don't want to be. He'll be like in this room, I'll be in the other room sleeping. I'll just be like waking me up at midnight. That'd be awesome. Oh, so it features Amazon.com here where you can get one of the AC adapters and this will help you just kind of like keep it on and charge all the time. So that's nice. Not going to do any of that though. All right, so I think that's all for the manual. Let's see what else this thing has to offer. Enjoy the show guys. I'll just let it play and it plays for like 20 to 30 seconds. If I did talk, it'd just be a cluster of music, lights, and my voice, which would get kind of annoying. So enjoy. Oh, and that's it. I was going to bring Sarge on here to join the party, but it closed up there. So I think that is absolutely amazing. That is awesome. It's definitely like it was in the movie when it woke McQueen up. And I think it's making up for those chips on the actual alarm clock car. That was pretty devastating to me because I don't think it should be chipped. But it's not really a big deal because it'll just be popping in and out. And I have another one to make me feel secure about it. So I think that is all, guys. I'm sorry for the long review, but this was an experience for both a you and I because I was learning this stuff as I was doing the video. So that's why it kind of seemed more like drawn out and not concise to the point. But you know what? I wanted to give you guys the full experience and I definitely recommend this product. I hope you guys can find a good price. Try giving me collectibles first. Definitely the best service, best prices, everything with him is a smooth ride. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of this exclusive, this D23 exclusive for the year. Do you prefer it over the Cruz Ramirez? I definitely do. I mean, Cruz is cool and all, but I just bought one that was not metallic for 20 bucks. So that one's nice and all, but this is something that we've never gotten before. Obviously, it's on scale with our 155 scale die cast. It's in scale with us, us as human beings. So if they were to make a alarm clock, it'd be like the size of this for the 155 scale die cast. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. I feel like there's something more to mention. It feels like this went by too quickly, but you know, this is just a very simple product that works awesomely and it really just gives you a full on experience and trip down memory lane of the movie. When you think back to, oh yeah, I remember when McQueen woke up to that and he had that nightmare about Chick Hicks, or actually no, that was the nightmare when Frank, you know, chewed up Chick Hicks and the King escaped him and Frank won the Piston Cup. So yeah, that sounds pretty insane. But anyways, guys, I will see you later for the review of Danico Cruz and a lot more stuff coming to my channel in the next few days. I'm going on vacation next week on Monday to Montreal, Canada. So if anyone is in Montreal, let me know. And yeah, that'd actually be very cool. Maybe you can recommend some stuff for me and my family to do. 
just tweet me or put in the comment section below. I will see you guys next time. I hope you like this video and the exclusive because I definitely do. It's not as good as Albert Kinky or the Convoy Brothers, but still an awesome addition to anybody's collection. Bye now.